Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. I love for you guys to leave me comments below. Also, don't forget, support me by giving this video a thumbs up. Also, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you want to be in the chatterbox, the link is in the description bar or the join now button. You do have to be at least 18 years old and it's $4.99 a month. And now that we got all that squared away and cleared, now we can talk about this baby sound. Okay, so I did another video when I actually opened the baby up. But I thought it would just be even better if I just go ahead and show her on a body to kind of give you guys a better idea and to kind of give a little bit more attention to her. Now we ran into some technical difficulties because apparently I have had another light bulb blow. So I'm gonna have to get me some more light bulbs for my light my my lamps. So the kit might come across a little bit darker than what it is because of the the lighting. Maybe I can lighten it a little bit with my light but um yeah so for those of you that may not know um sound is a crying screaming baby this is something exciting this is something new for me I mean I did I listen I broke the ice a little bit when I did a yawning baby but a screaming baby oh my god never in a million years would I thought that I would have been so excited to paint a screaming baby now I will tell you guys that this baby is pulling my heartstrings and I'll tell you why I literally feel like she is crying like I want her to calm down like so I gave her a pacifier and you know she was kind of starting to calm down but I think she wants paint I think she's really really crying because she wants to be beautiful she wants some color so we're gonna have to give her some color but without further ado I do want to introduce this baby to you guys but let me tell you who sculpted her she was sculpted by Kathy Romero Biscotti from Silicone Studio. Now you guys know I paint a lot of Silicone Studio babies because I love the quality and I am mad over heels for the customer service. So I just, I, I mean, the customer service alone keeps me going back. Um, yes, I've done a couple, uh, quite a bit of prototypes for them, but even in between, before, I also order kits from them and pay for them myself. I mean, in fact, <laughs> I was actually ordering a cuddle from her at the time when she said, oh, do you want a prototype, you know, um, sound? And I was like, yes! But I had already started gathering inspiration pictures because I was gonna buy this kit anyway to paint because, you know, I just like to have a little bit of fun. You guys know I've never been one that you could stick in the box. So I like the excitement of doing something new. I'm all about right now in my collection just adding diversity and just a whole lot of just mix up here. So sound is definitely going to mix things up. I had now I did have a, a idea for her, but when I seen her head shape as far as her hair goes, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to I think I'm going to have to rethink it. And I'm going to have to really 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 try hard to do a very newborn hairstyle on her. Like a very I almost want to give her more. Well, we'll get into that later. Let's show show her to you guys. Now, be patient, be kind. She is a crier and we don't want to upset her anymore. But look at this crying baby oh my gosh all right guys so i'm gonna just get into what most people want to know first of all she is a newborn size baby she's on a reggie ann newborn size baby body and it fits her perfectly she is the perfect newborn um she has the perfect head shape now i am going to show you guys step by step I want to show you her ears. She has beautiful ears and they're detailed, so they will be fun to paint. Let me see if I can, oh my gosh, everything I do just upsets her. All right, these are her ears because, oh my gosh. So those are her ears. 
Now, I'll tell you I love the way her tongue is because it actually moves in her mouth. Like, I mean, it's not like glued down. So look, <laughs> it is actually a little flap. So that's nice. And then you know how you have the little attachment to the bottom of your tongue, to your gums and all that stuff. She has that. So I'm going to zoom in for that for you guys to see that. So detail is there. Um, top of the mouth. But this is where the most detail is. It's at the bottom of the mouth and then this tongue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so she has a big mouth. Someone asked on my live stream the other night, can she get a pacifier, fit a pacifier? Absolutely. I did try that out, tried out several ones. I haven't decided which one I like the most, but like I told you guys, she's crying so hard, it's gonna take a while for her to calm down. So even with a pacifier in her mouth, you're gonna know she's crying. Um, but that's one of my favorites. She does have a kind of full bottom lip, so that gives some paint room there. But her nose is so cute. That's what I love her nose. And then her little baby puffy little eye. Oh my gosh, she's just so cute. Oh my goodness. She is just so cute. So let's get into this head shape. I'm loving this head shape. Okay. Um I don't know if Kathy heard me when I said I love me an egg head shape, baby. But I, yes, indeedy, I do. Now, mind you, she's she's not painted. She's she's sticky she gotta get washed down so she's collecting lint and everything so please don't let that deter you from her her little uniqueness <laughs> i don't know if we can say cuteness because baby this baby is crying okay listen she is crying okay this is look at look at that head shape i love it so so cute um, I was thinking her head was going to be more rounded, so I was thinking of another hairstyle, like putting a little poof at the top, but because it's, it's so newborn-y, she got to have a, a more relaxing hairstyle. So, I just, I, oh my gosh, I can't see what you guys can see. So, I'm going to put a pacifier in her mouth for you guys. So you guys can see that too. And then I'm going to just kind of pose her a little bit just so you guys can see that as well. So these pacifiers just so happened. I bought these pacifiers and I got all different colors. And I was so mad because they were bigger than what I thought they was when I ordered them off of Amazon. But perfect that they're so big because it will fit her big mouth. <laughs> so nice. So I can give her a passy. She's still upset, but maybe after a while, look at that. Oh, she kind of calmed down a little bit. You know how, you know, you, you be doing this with the baby. Mm, okay, mama, should we be quiet? It's okay. Please be quiet so mama can stop crying too. Ooh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're going to have so much fun. Joy is going to be, oh, he's going to be mad, baby, about this baby. He do not like them little crying babies. So I can't wait till he get to meet her. Like, okay, so. So, of course, you know, like I said, she on her little body. Oh my gosh, she's just going to be so upset about everything. Ah. Uh, a little little self you just I mean come on she is so sweet though guys I've never had <laughs> I've never had a thought in my mind that I would like me a crying baby but I am so excited to paint this baby I y'all have no idea so I'm rooting all day and I'm gonna paint all night I'm going to start painting her tonight and I'm going to paint late. Well, I'm going to start. I can start at night because I don't need too much, too much daylight when I paint my first initial coats because they're pretty standard. But after that, I'll have to paint her in the day and, and, and probably root in the night or for, you know, a couple hours or in between my rooting. So... Ah, oh my gosh. She's just gonna be like, 
crying, crying, crying. Oh my gosh. Like, I just want to pick her up and just be like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, she makes me so sensitive. Oh, cry with her. Oh my God, this is, this is, this is it. This is it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'm going to paint her. Y'all wish me luck. I have not did a crying baby. Um, I want to, I really want to do well with her. Y'all got to wish me luck because I hope I can do her justice. But she's just, just going to be, oh my gosh, it's just, it's so, so funny. So, oh, I wanted to show you guys the next baby, which is like, you go from this to a straight calm, a serene look. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I love this head shape. I love your little tongue. Oh, oh, Poopa. Now her, her scope name is Sound, right? But I gotta name her something. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna name you? I gotta get you a cute name too. Something that's gonna fit you. Something that's gonna brighten up your little world. Oh, you so upset. Why you got so upset? I hope you don't upset me while I paint. <laughs> oh my God. I just wanna kiss her. I wanna make her stop crying. Oh my gosh. Like I can hear her cry. Like, oh my God, I'm so. Guys, I'm sorry. I was picking this baby up to to rock her. Like, oh my gosh, she make. I'm sorry, guys. I can't believe I'm sitting here rocking this baby. Lord help me. I don't went crazy for real. I'm finna listen. I'ma help. I'ma look. I'ma help these trolls that be in the comment section. Uh, say that I'm crazy, cause baby, when I tell you I done picked up this baby and started rocking her, cause I just want her to stop crying. Baby, she <laughs> listen. Woo. Now that's when you know you don't went cuckoo bananas, when you don't went crazy. Now I have wrapped her back up. I had took her out, but I wrapped her back up. So look at Jasmine. This is Jasmine. Jasmine is gorgeous. And Jasmine is actually going to become a full body. So I, when I get an opportunity to do, if they, there is a cuddle, I like to paint the cuddle first because it gives me vision. So when I do get a full body of it i will i will have a direction and i will know which way i want to go so this is jasmine now jasmine has a nice shape head as well um that i really like but let me show you the difference in the size so jasmine is a smaller baby now I know the community would say she's preemie and I will say she probably will do better on a preemie body. I tried her out on a preemie body. You'll see that in another video. So I will say she does work good on a preemie body. However, I feel like she is still actually a very just born newborn baby. And so I think that she's going to still fit newborn clothes small newborn clothes and stuff so she's like a small newborn so i think that i'm gonna see when i put her on clothes and stuff and i'll get back with you guys on if you know i can put her in like you know some of the the like first size and you know up to one month type clothes Probably like first size, probably clothes and um, up to one month, like in H&M and stuff brands. But she is adorable. I was actually trying to debate in the other video. I was I was saying, I don't know, should I give her hands and feet? But I think I'm going to just leave her and just do her as a head since a full body is coming. And I'll worry about full body when that comes. I'm going to just do her as a cuddle, just a straight cuddle. 
and I love the head size guys because I can root <laughs> I can root a little bit faster with its smaller head so again very cute nose I love the nose shape really really love the nose shape love the mouth um, the mouth on this one does come closed but you can open it up because it, it's not touching the lips aren't touching as much so but you can open it up so I think she's she's this is actually gonna be a really sweet baby and she's girl she's all girl so I think I'm gonna make both of these girls I'm having girl fever right now so anyway uh oh she might be done went to sleep y'all she might be done calm down oh Jesus thank God all right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, these both of these cuddle heads are available now. So you don't have to wait. You can go ahead and order now. Um, they're on the website. You can go to www.siliconestudio2.com. Okay, that's siliconestudio2.com. And I'll put the link in the description bar. And you can go from there. But until then... Toodles, my doodles. <laughs>